here in Stara TV. We have Anna Maria Rusi. Finally, you found the time to sit down with me. I've been trying to get you here for weeks. How are you doing? I'm really good. Uh, I have been busy with uh, a lot of gigs this summer, and now I'm releasing my new single, Half Naked. Okay, sounds great. I'm Everyone remembers you from The Voice of Finland. You really hit the jackpot with your amazing performance of Wrecking Ball. And uh, I believe you have, have had a long career in music before that. Can you tell me something about that? Yeah, it's true. Uh, I started singing when I had 11 years old uh, in, in Romania. And I actually I, st I started before 11. Uh, when when I took my mother bottle deodorant of like a microphone and I was singing in, uh, in the house <laughs> and after that my parents heard me and they were thinking to send me to some contests festivals around the country and that I, I start singing there after that I was doing my own band in Romania uh, I had a lot of gigs with them, uh, our own album, uh, own music, uh, TV shows and radio. Uh, before the interview you told me that you moved to Bucharest when you were only 16 years old. Did your parents support you with this or were they more like get a real job? <laughs> no, uh, my, <laughs> my, my parents support me all the way they they sent me in in bucharest to to the music school so yeah my, my father was coming to visit me because i was there alone when i had 16 in in bucharest it's big big huge town so he came to me to visit every week every two weeks so yeah they were really happy that, that i was there your career has taken you all over the world. What is the most exotic place you have been performing? Um, <laughs> I, I, I cannot say that uh, it's Spain or, or Turkey because there I was performing. I could say that it's Finland, the most exotic country because uh, it's, it's much more different like culture than, than Romania. Okay, and what was the reason you first came to Finland? What made you decide that that's where I want to go? Yeah, uh, a music agency heard from Finland uh, heard us on YouTube and, and uh, they proposed us to do uh, one, one contract on a cruise ship. So we came here for one contract and after that we came like, they liked us, we, we liked here, so we came like many times. How did you feel about Finland when you first came here? Uh, you know, everybody have some picture in their head the, about the countries and cultures and everything. I was thinking that uh, the people are uh, more distant, like uh, uh, the Romania, but no, it wasn't. Well, I, I came on on cruise ship, so I saw that the people are partying and have 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 fun, and uh, they are really friendly. Your first visit to Finland was now a long time ago, and now you actually live here. You live in Nantali. What happened? <laughs> Oh, love happened. I <laughs> I met my husband, <laughs> so that's why I'm here. <laughs> now that you're living here, what has been the most difficult thing about moving to Finland? Uh, most difficult thing that I don't have my family close, uh, my friends. And how about the differences between these two, two countries, Finland and Romania? What are the biggest differences? The, the biggest differences are... Uh, it's not so crowded here, which I love. <laughs> um, when, when, uh, in the summer it's, it's light outside 
and and sun is shining but which i like for many people i guess it's it's really hard like to have in the night light but for me i i just love it but these are are the differences and one one more thing that um Romanian are not so on time like hey it's working like this also <laughs> like doesn't matter but here is like everything is like going on the schedule and I like this also because I I'm a punctual person so I I like I like this And how did your career in music here in Finland take off At the beginning it wasn't so easy uh i had to i start from zero here uh and i had to start to make connections again uh to find agencies uh find work and uh, like music work like gigs and uh, yeah it was like slowly which i was expecting so Uh, it it wasn't a surprise for me but it's often said that here in finland it's it's really hard to succeed when you sing in english have you felt the same way uh, maybe it's a little bit harder yeah uh, but it's all over in i guess in every country but i'm thinking that english is interna international language so it is not impossible but I guess it is. Yeah, that's why I I'm, I'm study Finnish now. I want to sing like Finnish songs, but I'm not ready yet, so <laughs> I'm I will wait a little bit more. You study Finnish. Can you tell me something in Finnish? Like one sentence. Kyllä. Yeah. Anteeksi, mutta en en puu hyvin suomea. That was really good. <laughs> so how did you end up in the voice of Finland? Um, I I wanted uh, to go in voice of Romania before, like maybe one year before that, but I I moved in Finland, so I I decided. To, like straight because i was i knew that if i'm thinking like a lot should i go or should i not i i will not go but i just decided i made i went to to um audition and i i get it there so it was like like one minute decision <laughs> and what kind of experience was the whole voice of finland It was great experience, really. Um, I, I, it, it's the best feeling when when you are there and the people are watching and not the audience that they were there, but also the people that um, they are watching from TV is totally different than uh, a gig, a normal gig. Do you feel like the voice of Finland gave you a label as a talent show artist? Does that bother you if you feel so? No, no, it doesn't bother me. Voice of Finland actually opened many doors for me. So that it's it's a good thing. You have now released two of your own singles and the next one is coming out in 22nd of September. What kind of music do you want to do? Uh I I want to do um pop music. Uh if you ask me this like two years ago it was like soul music but now I want to do pop music. On your last single with me comes the night you were performing with uh, rapper Elite. If you could choose anyone from the world to do a duet with or have a featuring song who would that be Ooh. yeah i was performing with Aliti with which he's he's a really great uh guy and really good talent and and this is a really hard question <laughs> like i 
I have so many in my head. Like, let's say first one, uh, Bruno Mars. I, I, you said all over, so <laughs> yeah, maybe Bruno Mars at this moment. <laughs> I, I don't know. So tell me, what are your dreams in career or in your personal life? Um, my dreams. It's quite easy. I want to be for like a singer. Um, I want to be on the big stages, on radio, on TV shows. It, what I was doing until now, I, I want to continue. And your biggest fears? To get old. <laughs> and yeah, to get old, one. But the first one is that my parents uh, can get sick. Uh, I guess this is the first biggest fear that I have. On 22nd of September, your next single, Half Naked, is coming out. And your social media is full of pretty bold pictures. <laughs> so what kind of song are we going to hear? Um, yeah, I'm releasing on 22nd because then it's my birthday. So I, usually I get presents, but now I want to give some pre this present to the people who are listening. So it, half naked is it's not like half naked <laughs> body, but it's like like a half naked uh, feeling. It's a love song, but not a uh, happy one. It's it's a little bit like sad song. That a person that feels insecure of her or he, his relationship. Um, yeah. Thank you. Oh. From all of us here in Stara TV, we thank you that you finally had the time to sit down with us. And all the best for you and your career. Thank you. Hello Stara TV, my name is Anna Maria Russi. Just listen my new single, the latest one, Have Naked on Spotify.